I'm Dr. Emily Omura. I'm a retired uh, uh, emeritus professor now of, uh, of dermatology at University of Alabama in Birmingham, and which is where my entire uh, career uh, extended. I, I uh, went to medical school and did my dermatology residency at Cornell in New York, where I first became interested in dermatopathology. I suspect most dermatologists did uh, uh, become interested that way. It was a wonderful, actually a volunteer private uh, teacher of dermatology at Cornell, Dr. Sam Atkinson, who taught all the residents dermatopathology for years. And that was when I first, uh, first became really fascinated by, uh, by it. I, I've always loved dermatology, the visual aspects, um, and I find e even more interesting uh, when I discovered dermatopathology. Um, I started on faculty at uh, the University of Alabama at Birmingham in 1970, uh, which is when we moved to Birmingham. And um, there, there were no fellowships back then, no, no dermpath exam back then, uh, but, but I did teach a, a weekly session to the dermatology residents at UAB on, on dermatopathology because I, when I arrived I discovered that, 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 that they did not have that, they did not have any teaching in uh, formal, formal teaching. The only textbook then, some people old as, as old as I am might remember, was Walter Lever's textbook of dramatic pathology. Someone once said about that textbook that, uh, that the, the only problem with it was that it was so good that people thought that that was all they needed, and of course that was not all we needed. Uh, later on, good, other good textbooks have come along. But at that time I taught Walter Lever chapter by chapter to the dermatology residents at UAB. Um, and then I began to read dermatopathology, uh, and then I took the first exam in dermatopathology when, when that was instituted in 1974. There were three of us from the state of Alabama who took the exam, Dr. Walter Little, Dr. Robert Lauderdale, and myself. We went together on the plane, came back on the plane, discussed the answers and the questions that we remembered on the plane. I think we remembered almost all the questions except two, something like that. Um, so that was the first exam when, when people boarded in dermatology or pathology could take the exam without fellowship training. There, there were very few fellowships back then. Uh, so that's the, what all of us did. So I was sort of grandfathered into dermatopathology. Never did a fellowship. But then on faculty full-time at UAB, I did start a, uh, with Dr. Sonia Kerr in the path department at UAB. Uh, she and I started a fellowship uh, applied for and got a, a fellowship established at UAB. So from then on, I trained one or sometimes two fellows per year. And I, uh, besides loving dermatology and loving dermatopathology, I also love teaching. So that was, that was uh, extra uh, lanyard to, to get to have a fellowship and train, train wonderful, uh, sterling really, uh, fellows. Uh, I hope they're doing a, I know that they're all doing a good job out in practice or teaching now. Um, so I, was, I continued on faculty until uh, I retired from UAB in 1999, and then in fact joined a private practice of dermatopathology in Birmingham, stopped seeing patients when I left UAB. Um, I missed seeing patients, but I loved dermapath, dermpath so much that that was, that was fine. I uh, practiced at uh, Skin Pathology Associates in Birmingham for, for I think seven years and uh, then joined my friend Dr. Sonia Kerr from back in the original fellowship days in her practice in Northern Virginia part-time for a couple of years after that. Um, and now I'm complete, I've been completely retired now for a couple of years, having worked full-time until I was 70, which I thought was, was good for, for someone who, as I've told friends, for someone who was, quote, unquote, taking the place of man in medicine who would not work full time, et cetera, would have children, stop working, et cetera. So, so I did retire uh, a couple of years ago and, and, and I'm enjoying retirement. <laughs>